Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about correlation, cross correlation, and auto correlation. Okay. So basically, we have extensively covered convolving two signals to determine the output sequence y of n when x of n and h of n are known, right? Now let's discuss correlation, which is basically a mathematical operation similar to convolution. Okay. So correlation compares two signals to measure their similarity and is important in signal processing. It is used in radar and sonar systems to locate targets and has applications in image processing and control engineering. Okay. So basically there are two types of correlation. The first one is what cross correlation and the second one is what auto correlation. Clear? So let's understand first what is a cross correlation. So the cross correlation between x of n and y of n is given by it is given by r you know in subscript you have to write x y okay this is a function of m which is nothing but equal to summation of x of n okay into y of n minus m okay where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity clear and this m this m is nothing but a variable used for time shift the same is what a variable which is basically used for time shift hope it is clear to you fine so this is what a mathematical definition for a cross correlation so now let's understand some more thing so basically the subscripts this xy right this is a subscript xy indicate that x of n is the reference sequence that remains fixed or you can say unshifted in time okay there is no shift in x of n so this is what a reference sequence clear and on the other hand the sequence y of n is shifted m units in the time with respect to x of n that is why it is what y of n minus n so hope these two points are clear to you now let's go for the next so basically the cross correlation operation can also be expressed as achieving the same results by shifting the sequence of x of n so this time we are going to shift the sequence x of n in the opposite direction by m units of time while keeping sequence y of n unshifted okay this time y of n will be unshifted so in this case the formula will be what r you know and xy subscript function of m so r of m you can say this will be equal to what summation of what boss this will be equal to summation of so x of n plus m into y of n where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so here if you see this x of n is what shifting sequence this time and y of n is what unshifted so this formula is also fine i hope this much is clear to you now one last point about this so the cross correlation sequence rxy of m will be a finite duration sequence comprises of n1 plus n2 minus 1 samples okay in what case if the sequence x of n has n1 samples and the sequence y of n has n2 samples so the correlation sequence will have how many samples n1 plus n2 minus 1 okay hope it is clear to you so this is all about the cross correlation 
and another one is what basically auto correlation right so let's see that also so another one is what auto correlation the name itself is enough to define this auto correlation it means what it refers to the correlation of a sequence with itself okay so auto correlation refers to the correlation of a sequence with itself only so auto correlation measures the similarity between a sequence and a shifted version of itself and is defined as follows for a discrete time sequence how r this time you are going to compare with the shifted version of the same signal so x x okay function of m this will be equal to what summation of x of n and shifted version x of n minus m where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity right so this is the formula for what auto correlation so the auto correlation sequence rxx of m of a sequence x of n with n samples will be a finite duration sequence comprising of 2n minus 1 samples okay so in the final result the samples will be 2n minus 1 if x of n has n samples so this is about auto correlation so i hope you have a clear idea about correlation and auto correlation and cross correlation okay we are going to solve the numericals based on all of this so don't worry about that okay so if you have any doubt in this you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching